Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We've been reading in the book of Numbers. Now, last time we read Numbers chapter 7, and this was about the offerings of the leaders. This time, we're ready to read Numbers chapter 8, and I am reading in the Amplified Bible. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and say to him, When you set up and light the lamps, the seven lamps will shine in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He set up the lamps at the front of the lampstand, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Now this was the workmanship of the lampstand. Hammered work of gold from its base to its flowers, it was hammered work. According to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses, so he made the lampstand. Again, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the sons of Israel and cleanse them. This is what you shall do to them to ceremonially cleanse them. Sprinkle the water of purification on them and let them use a razor over their whole body and wash their clothes and they will be clean. Then let them take a young bull and its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil and you shall take another young bull as a sin offering. You shall present the Levites before the tent of meeting, the tabernacle, and you shall also assemble the whole congregation of the children of Israel and present the Levites before the Lord, and the Israelites shall lay their hands on the Levites. Aaron shall present the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the Israelites, so that they may perform the service of the Lord. Then the Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the bulls. Then you are to offer the one as a sin offering, and the other as a burnt offering to the Lord, to make atonement for the Levites. You shall have the Levites stand before Aaron and his sons and present them as a wave offering to the Lord. Thus you shall separate the Levites from among the Israelites, and the Levites shall be mine in a very special sense. Then after that the Levites may go in to serve the tent of meeting, the tabernacle. But you shall cleanse them first and present them as a wave offering, for they are wholly given to me from among the Israelites. I have taken them for myself instead of all who are firstborn the firstborn of all the Israelites. For all the firstborn among the Israelites are mine, among the men and among the animals. On the day that I struck down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified and set the Israelites apart for myself. And I have taken the Levites instead of every firstborn among the Israelites. I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and to his sons from among the Israelites to perform the service of the Israelites at the tent of meeting, the tabernacle, and to make atonement for them so that there will be no plague among the Israelites if they should approach the sanctuary. Thus Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel did these things to the Levites in accordance with all that the Lord had commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so the Israelites did to them. The Levites, too, purified themselves from sin, and they washed their clothes, and Aaron presented them as a wave offering before the Lord. And Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them. Then, after that, the Levites went in to perform their service in the tent of meeting before Aaron and his sons, Just as the Lord had commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so they did to them. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This is what applies to the Levites. From twenty-five years old and upward, they shall enter to perform service in the work of the tent of meeting. But at the age of fifty years, they shall retire from the service of the tabernacle work and serve no longer. They may assist their brothers in the tent of meeting to keep an obligation, but they shall do no heavy or difficult work. Thus you shall deal with the Levites concerning their obligations. 
So this has been Numbers chapter 8, and this is all about the Levites and their obligation to the tent of meeting and how they were cleansed. And uh, it's interesting to see that after 25 years, from 25 to 50, that they would be able to retire. Not, they, not that they wouldn't be able to assist in any way after that, but they, they would not be responsible for any heavy or difficult work after they had served their 25 years and became, you know, 50 years old. It's just something to note. A lot of, a lot of companies used to, you know, give people retirement after 20 or 25 years of service. That, that's what they would do. Makes me wonder if it didn't come from such as this, you know, because of our culture coming largely from the, uh, the Christian values. So, just a thought. Anyway, this has been Numbers Chapter 8. I want to thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.